I'm going to instruct you today on how to do decongestive exercises to help move the lymphatic fluid either while you're in the active treatment with the bandages on or while you're wearing your compression garments. These exercises are focused on the legs. The first exercise to do um, would be just doing some deep breaths. So just in through your nose and out through your mouth and we'll do five of these. I want you to continue with three more, but it's important while you're doing these to not hold your breath at any beginning or the end and to just do a, a fairly normal but slightly exaggerated breath in and breath out. And you definitely should stop if you feel dizzy or nauseous. The second exercise would be just doing some simple head turns. You're gonna do 10 of these. So you'll look left over your left shoulder as far as you can and then move to the right. You're holding approximately a few seconds on each side just to get a stretch, and you will repeat this 10 times. Which is essentially five each direction. Every time you, re you repeat it, if you can move any further to the side, that would be great. So looking a little further over your shoulder. And that was five on each side. The next exercise is moving your trunk from side to side. So it's basically a trunk rotation. You're going to be turning to the left and holding and turning to the right and holding. I like to move my arms with me because it helps give me a little bit extra movement. And again, you're going five times each direction for a total of 10. Every time you turn, just like with the neck exercises, you try to go a little bit further. The next exercise is moving your knees and your hips. You're just gonna gently move your legs up and down And these will be 10 on each leg. So that would be a total of 20. And if you have to stop early for pain or for shortness of breath or anything, that is okay too. But the goal would be 10 on each leg. Another exercise would just be kicking your leg out. And if this is too hard to do alternating legs, you may do 10 on each leg and then um, switch to the other leg. You're looking to get a contraction in your legs. So if you can feel that thigh muscle tense up, that means you're achieving that. The next exercise will just be going up and down onto your toes. Again, 10 total would be fine. If you'd like to do any more of these, you are welcome to, but the goal of this is to get your circulation moving and your lymphatics. And I'd rather you be doing functional activities during the day than just sitting and doing exercises. So I'd rather you take a, do less exercise and take a good walk um, than to just sit here and do exercises and avoid the walking. And the last exercise after this is called toe curls. It's very simple. With your feet on the floor, in your shoes or without shoes on, you just squeeze your toes together. So you're, you're pinching your toes together and then you relax. 
I'm doing the motion with my hands so you can kind of envision it or you can do it along with me. So with your toes, you're just squeezing your toes and then relax. Again, 10 of those would be ideal. If you wanna watch this replay to continue to do exercises with me, you are welcome to. Um, if you don't wanna hear the instruction again, feel free to mute the sound and then you can just follow along with um, the movements I'm doing. Again, we recommend these exercises to be done approximately three times a day. And um, we also encourage any other active motion you can be doing during the day, such as walking. Thank you.